Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about neotenin and pedogenesis of amphibia. As these two words, neoteny and pedogenesis, terms coined by Colvan. Uh, the first term neoteny refers to the retention of a larval or embryonic trait in the adult body. For example, retention of embryonic cartilaginous skeleton in adult in contact age. Whereas the other example is larval gills in some adult salamanders. So the neoteny refers to the retention of a larval or embryonic trait in the adult body. Whereas the second term pedogenesis or pedomorphosis refers to the development of gonads and or production of young ones by an otherwise immature larva or pre-adult animal. So the pedogenesis means uh, development of gonads by a larva and it starts to reproduce young ones in the larval stage such as uh, in liver fluke and salamanders larva sexually mature and become sexually mature and uh, produce the young ones so this is pedogenesis that larva becomes sexually mature and it starts reproduction whereas in, in the first term neoteny uh, uh, it is the retention of larval tract in the adult body such as the retention of gills in some salamander then uh, here we are going to discuss the neoteny and pedogenesis in amphibians and, and these two terms becomes overlapping in the amphibians that whether it is neoteny or pedogenesis. So the most common example of this uh, uh, phenomena neoteny or pedogenesis is the axolotl larva. Here we can see the axolotl larva. Uh, it is an example of neoteny and pedogenesis in amphibians uh, that is vertebrates and it is uh, uh, in the genus Ambylostoma uh, that is a salamander uh, which is also known as Ambylostoma Ambylostoma or Ambylostoma Similar name, and uh, its larva is known as axolotl larva, which becomes sexually mature. This larva becomes sexually mature and does not metamorphose. Uh, so, it is an example of neoteny. Pedogenesis uh, neoteny is uh, retention of larval characters. Another and pedogenesis means larva becomes sexually mature and starts reproduction. This phenomena of the retention of larval characters in the sexually mature state has been called neoteny or pedogenesis. It is not confined to embryostome but is found occasionally in the genus Triton also. 
it is a physiological adaptation it also happens in nectaris and amphiuma uh, that is obligate neoteny and in this metamorphosis cannot be induced by the thyroxine or t4 so it is obligate neoteny that uh, larva remains larva throughout the life and it becomes sexually mature uh, even if uh, t4 of thyroxine cannot induce the metamorphosis of this larva into adult while in axolotl or amblyostoma some or all the individuals of a given population metamorphose uh, normally and it is in this facultative neotens thyroxine or t4 generally induce metamorphosis so in, in amblyostoma or in axolotl larva of amblyostoma and this is facultative neoteny in which thyroxine generally induce metamorphosis neoteny is due to a low level of thyrotropin releasing hormone that is trh probably due to a combination of genetic pre depositions with the environmental factors so there are numerous environmental factors uh, which affects the metamorphosis and the important hormone is thyrotropin releasing hormone and its low level induces the neoteny then uh, the lack of iodine has been shown to produce epigenetic separation of metamorphosis as in an english population of triteres in neoteny uh, the terrestrial phase is eliminated and the aquatic larva become sexually mature the larval stage is often considered as a survival of the ancestral fish tail so this is an axolotl larva of amblyostoma uh, it has a caudal fin handling this is the trunk Falling mouth, muscle, eye, and external gills. So this is the uh, important unit fact of the ventral external gills in the axolotl larva. Then pedomorphosis is the retention of those characters which occurred in younger stages of the ancestor of a sexually mature descendant. So. these uh, characters were uh, occurred in younger stages of the ancestor of a sexually mature descendant it is considered that pedogenesis or reproduction in a pre adult form has been a powerful influence in the evolution of at least some animal types a classical case of pedogenesis is provided by the mexican axolotl which frequently breed in the guild of larvalistes so it is the most common example among amphibians uh, which represents neoteny and pedogenesis that is axolotl larva and blastoma trigonum uh, so let us summarize uh, the topic and that in this video we have discussed about the neoteny and pedogenesis and both the terms were coined by polwan and neoteny refers to the retention of a larval or embryonic trait in the adult body such as larval gills in some adult salamanders whereas the pedogenesis or pedomorphosis refers to the development of gonads uh, by a larva or feeder animal and it starts production of embryos in an otherwise immature stage so this is all about the unique phenomena of neoteny and pedogenesis in amphibians thank you very much